seven. Mm. Why? Can I say why I want to build a cabin? Yeah. Okay. I'm building a cabin because it would be very helpful if I had a place close by home mm -hmm. and free of charge to host my women yoni circles. I would say that there are several reasons for why we're building this cabin. Um, and yeah, so there's a space back there which is not being used at the moment for anything in particular. And um, it makes sense to be able to have a place back there where we can go even when it's raining and spend time. And um, yeah, it's a beautiful, stunning location. And um, yeah, without a building there, it's not. There's not really much of a reason to go back there other than to look at it. Um, and having a building back there will allow us to... Um, it will support us to further our... Um, you know, Julie with her relationship coaching and me with my body work. Um, yeah, it will support those aspects of our lives and um, can also provide a space where someone could live um, either permanently or temporarily um, and that's you know, that's going to provide us an income um, utilizing the land and um, yeah that just generally contributes to our family and now um, our well-being in life so come with me I'll show you what we're getting up to at the moment. These are all the materials that we've been accumulating <laughs> um, here on the land, and I can't wait to see them being put in the land in the in the cabin. This is the area where the cabin is going to be built. Um, let's see if I can. Here's the view and that's the place where the cabin is going to be built. What are we doing? Just thinking about where the front corner of the building might be. So these are the foundations, there's a post missing there, um, the first row of five foundations, there's going to be another row coming from here and then after that we're going to have um, Joyce sitting on top of it and then we can put the floor um, of our cabin. Bringing in more concrete from the van and this is the view of the place this is gonna look like
and then that'll be the last deep hole. Of the whole project. So we have all of our foundation posts in now and now we need to get them level and so the ground's pretty like goes up over there and this side of the post is lower um, so I'm using a tube which has got water in it and because I don't have a laser level so um, yeah, just going to use a tube with water, and that'll because water's always level. Um. Not ideal. The foundation posts are not level. Not level. I'm gonna have to cut it again. So now Tom has done some fidgeting to make it work and be level because it was fucked up. Yeah, I'm up. 
putting in underfloor insulation. Squeezing it between the joists. Trying to. For the cabin he used some glue. Yeah, yeah, oh. With a glue, glue here and a glue, glue there. Plywood here, plywood there. Everywhere, a screwdriver. And it's on. Yeah, those are our speeds. Ah. <sighs> 